Glenn, you're gonna take Nina out to play tomorrow like you promised, right? You haven't forgotten, right? You said you would. Yeah, of course I remember. Don't worry. I've told you before, you don't have to constantly check on me for every little thing. Yeah, but if I don't remind you of every little thing you end up conveniently forgetting. How many times has it been now that you've cancelled out of the blue on her? Don't be so dramatic. It hasn't been that many times. You need to learn to relax. I think we both know you've blown her off more times than you've actually kept your word. And make sure to spend time with her too. Don't just take her somewhere and ignore her. As her dad, don't you feel bad not showing her any attention? You need to make more of an effort. There you go, being melodramatic again. I do spend time with her. Don't I take her to the park and stuff on my days off? Oh yeah? You definitely take her places. But that's all. You just leave the poor girl to go off and play by herself. I shouldn't even have to spell it out. But that's not what giving someone attention means. Every time she comes home after spending the day with you, she looks so disappointed, sobbing about how daddy wouldn't play with her. There's no way that's true. She's just exaggerating because I don't spend literally every second as her playmate. She told me you don't play with her at all, and that all you do is stare at your phone the whole time. I bet you're just playing games or scrolling social media or something the whole time, aren't you? When you take her tomorrow, keep your phone in your pocket, your eyes on your daughter, and actually play with her. Like I said, I do play with her. From the time we leave the house until the time we get back, my attention is on her. It's just that she constantly bugs and begs to do this and that and nothing I do satisfies her. If you ask me, the problem is that she's way too spoiled. I know our daughter, and she wouldn't be saying those things if you were actually playing with her like you say you do. She thinks glancing at my phone for a sec means I'm ignoring her. You're the one who always treats her like a little princess, so I end up looking like the bad guy for just being a normal parent. Oh no, don't try to pin this on me. You're the one who's always spoiling her. Probably just so you don't have to actually parent her. I don't know if it's because your family treated you like a little king, being the youngest and the only boy in the family, but you have a major selfish side. Not that you'd notice. You'd rather die than even consider the fact that maybe you're in the wrong. Yeah, and you act just like my older sisters. I swear, it's like you live to nag me, and you'd rather worry about stupid little things than just relaxing once in a while. Nina is an only child, so we, her parents, have to be her playmates. It's not enough to just drop her in the sandbox. On top of that, she's been looking forward to her father-daughter day all week long, so don't you even think of canceling on her again? You're gonna do it right for once. I said I got it. This is what I meant with the nagging. Jeez, you could teach a broken record a thing or two. If you really hate me telling you so many times, how about showing me you can do it without being told? I guess I should have learned by now not to expect too much though. You're all talk and no action. What did you say? You heard me. When it comes to Nina, all you do is complain about how I do things. But you won't lift a finger to do anything yourself. Would it kill you to try acting like a father once in a while? You're so out of the picture. You probably don't even know how to be one at this point. Please, I think I can handle keeping a kid entertained for the afternoon. Anyway, I got the message already, so just leave it alone. We're gonna have a nice outing together, I promise. Glenn, what the hell do you think you're doing? Answer the phone, now. Don't you dare think you're getting away with this. How many times are you gonna make me call? Don't make me come to you. What the hell's going on? What's with all the calls? Why are you blowing up my phone? I'm trying to play with our daughter. After flipping out on me like that to spend more time with her, are you trying to ruin our time together now or something? Oh, no, don't even try it. 
I know it's not our daughter you're playing with. I have no idea what you're talking about. Did you hit your head or something? I know you're in that hotel. Get out now. I know exactly what's going on. You're caught. It's over. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. There's no point lying, Glenn. I know you're in there. Okay, you have officially gone insane. How could I be in some hotel when I'm out playing with our daughter? Oh my god. You are unbelievable. Are you not realizing how over it is? Or do you really think I'm that stupid? How many times are you going to make me say it? I have no idea what you're talking about. What hotel are you even talking about? All that's here are swings and a slide. I'm sorry, but you're making no sense. You're the one not making any sense. I heard it straight from Nina's mouth. Honestly, if I hadn't, I'd never believe anyone could do something so terrible. Huh? You lost me. What do you mean directly from Nina's mouth? She's right here with me, where she's been the whole day. We've been happily playing together like you told me to, all day long. That is a lie, and you know it. I know you know it's a lie because she's right here with me. In the damn hospital, Glenn. In the hospital? What are you talking about? Yeah, just imagine my surprise when I suddenly get a call from the hospital saying my daughter was taken there in an ambulance. Of course, how could you know that your precious daughter was rushed to the hospital? Since you've been playing a different kind of game in a hotel the whole time. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You're seriously in the hospital right now. Why was she taken to the hospital? What happened? Someone found her passed out on the street. She was suffering from heat stroke. Heat stroke? How did she get a heat stroke? You know how. You're the one who made her wait in the car, right? All alone in this blistering heat? People don't even do that to their dogs. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with you? That can't be. I swear, I made sure to leave the window open. There is a limit to how dumb a person can be, Glenn. Are you really so stupid you think cracking a window is going to save someone from this heat? Nina couldn't handle it anymore and managed to crawl out through the window herself somehow. Luckily, it seems she has a better head on her shoulders than you do. You're saying she managed to get out through that small crack? Yeah. Thank God she's a little thing and was able to wiggle out. I don't think I have to tell you what would have happened if she didn't. But even though she managed to get out on her own, I shudder to think what would have happened if someone didn't find her passed out and have the good sense to call an ambulance. They took her to the nearest hospital and gave her emergency care. Oh my god, but she's okay now, right? According to the doctor, she'd already regained consciousness by the time I was rushing to the hospital. I'm with her now and she's up and speaking. Not that it makes things okay. Oh, thank god. I still can't believe that it was that hot out. Still, I don't know how they managed to get in touch with you. Nina doesn't know your number, right? You know she's always had allergies ever since she was little. Well, as a responsible parent, I always make sure she carries a little notepad with contact information. Like an address book? You mean the one she uses in kindergarten? No, I made sure to make her a separate one from her kindergarten one with more detailed information. I cannot believe you never noticed until now. How on earth am I supposed to know something like that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I've told you a million times now? Not that it's anything new. You never listen to anything I tell you. I write down all the things she has a reaction to, as well as emergency contacts. You know, just so they can save our daughter's life in a case of an emergency? Wow, I gotta admit. You really have a handle on everything, don't you? I still kind of feel like it's borderline neurotic, but... Maybe, but it's thanks to that part of me that I knew where our daughter was. Maybe if you were a bit more neurotic, our daughter's life wouldn't have been in danger. Alright already, I get it. Anyway, Nina's fine now, right? Well, the doctor said she's fine now, but she keeps saying the strangest thing. Strangest thing? What's she saying? 
She keeps pointing out the window, saying Daddy went into the castle. You know the one, right? The castle-themed hotel on the outskirts of town? Oh, but you and I know that's not just any hotel, is it? We can see it clear as day from the hospital room window. Hell of a thing to look at while in a hospital bed. That's how I knew where you were. Let's be honest. We both know there's only one reason people go to that hotel. Or motel, rather. I don't know who she is. But you're with another woman right now. Aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You caught me. Well done. Congratulations. But let's get real here for a second. It's not like you're in any position to be telling me off. Wow. Do you hear yourself right now? You talk really big for a person caught cheating, red-handed. Before we continue, you maybe want to try to throw out a few apologies first? Like I said, I'm not the only one who's in the wrong here. You two are the whole reason I'm here to begin with. You've completely given up on yourself as a woman, and our daughter is a spoiled little brat. How do you expect me not to shop around once in a while when there's nothing at home for me? Are you serious right now? Are you trying to turn this thing around on me? Like I put a gun to your head and forced you into adultery? Come on. Everyone knows that if a husband's cheating, it's because the wife drove him to it. The wife actually has to put in some effort to keep the man in the house. If she's doing what she's supposed to do, he isn't going to go astray. Simple as that. You're impossible. Fine. Let's put the cheating aside for a second. The thing that I'm really pissed about is what you did to our daughter. You do realize if anything went wrong, she could have died, right? Has that gotten through your thick skull? You are a total failure as a father. You do not even care about your own flesh and blood. Here comes the drama again. Everything ended up fine, didn't it? Like they say, no harm, no foul. You need to calm down. Oh my god. Please tell me you're not trying to justify almost killing your daughter. Even though she's fine now, I really hope you don't think that means you're in the clear. She even said you tried to bribe her with bucket loads of candy. Now, hold on a sec. Nina agreed to wait in the car. If we're playing the blame game, I'm not the only one at fault here. Well, she's saying she was just too afraid of you to refuse. You told her to stay in the car, and the poor girl was too afraid to say anything. She said you even threatened her not to tell. Here come the exaggerations again. I never threatened her. I knew she was a little liar, just like I said. She's just a pain in the ass, just like her mom. After everything you put that girl through, you have the nerve to say those kinds of things about her? About your own daughter? Seriously? What is wrong with you? Whatever. If she's fine, just check out and take her home already. Sitting in the hospital is just gonna burn up money. I'm not paying a fortune for an ice pack and a juice box. Are you trying to say you're not coming to the hospital? Go to the hospital for what? The doctor said she's fine already, right? I'm not taking you guys home if that's what you're thinking. You got there yourself. Go back by yourselves. Silver lining to everything, it's the weekend and I was able to make some calls. It was a bit sudden, but it looks like everyone is going to manage to come. Oh, so you're just going to leave me on red? That makes this even better. All your sisters are making a beeline straight for the hotel as we speak. Good luck with that. What? Why? My sisters are coming here? You're lying. Oh, that was fast. Looks like I struck the right nerve. Are you being serious right now? You can't be. Yep, dead serious. All four of your big sisters are heading over there right now. I always thought it was strange. Even though everyone lives close by, you haven't seen everyone for a while, right? Whenever anyone talks about meeting up, you always seem to have an excuse. Are the big mean sisters really that scary? You really called them. This is for real. Of course I did. Jeez, you're really panicking, huh? Don't worry. 
I made sure to let them know every little detail about today. This is a delicate problem between you and me, just us. How can you go and drag other people into it? You don't even talk to my sisters usually. Why today of all days do you feel the need to involve them? Well, you didn't leave me much of a choice, did you? After all, what else can I do when dealing with such a huge pile of human filth? Whatever. I say you just tried to gaslight me. You honestly believe you're the victim here? So I thought I should just unleash your sisters on you and enjoy the show. Do you have any idea what they're going to do to me? Oh, and they are furious. They weren't even making sense towards the end of the conversation. I mean, that should go without saying all, considering. You cheated on me while risking your daughter's life. And then, when you got caught, you blamed me and her. I don't know what they think of me, but their poor little niece? When they're done with you, there won't be enough left to identify the body. Of all people, why them? You could have called anyone else. Because I didn't think your parents had it in them to properly teach you a lesson. You're the baby boy in a five-child household. Your parents love you to pieces. You could do no wrong in their eyes, but your sisters are another story, aren't they? I bet you don't even have it in you to go up against them, do you? Those girls are monsters. They've done nothing but terrorize me my whole life. You're laughing because you have no idea what they're capable of. Every day was a living hell with those four. Ugh, don't be so mean. Those monsters are gathering up on their day off just to come see you their beloved little brother. I have to say though, it's a weight off my shoulders. It's nice to be able to leave the pest control to the professionals. Oh, it seems like the closest sister is just about to arrive. This is gonna be good. I should make some popcorn. Already? Wait, I'm not ready. No, seriously, I'm not joking. This is bad. You had your chance to avoid all this back at the hospital. You tied your own noose. So don't look for sympathy from me. Call them off now. Tell them everything's fine. Make them go home. Too late. They're on their way. If you're really that scared, maybe talk less and run more. You might still be able to escape if you start running. Oh man, I can only imagine what they're going to do to you when they catch you along with your woman. Did you have a nice time with your sisters? How was their reunion after all these years? I got to see the whole show on FaceTime. I've never seen a man get beaten like that before. Your little tramp was bawling her eyes out. I thought she was going to start hyperventilating. I would like to offer my deepest apologies for my indiscretions against you and our daughter. Your sisters really pounded some sense into you, huh? Although... It's a little late for apologies, especially forced ones. I'm a failure as a father and a man. I cannot apologize enough for my actions. I literally laughed out loud when I saw them make you sit like a child on the sidewalk and lecture you. The people on the street must have thought they were filming a TikTok video or something. Anyway, Nina is staying at the hospital tonight, so I might as well make my way over there too. I can't let your sisters have all the fun after all. Haven't you done enough already? Have a little mercy. I just want to go home and clean up. Please, just let it end already. You got what you wanted. You've had enough fun for today, right? Looks like they've completely broken your spirit. You were so big and proud earlier. Where'd that attitude go? That's easy for you to say. You weren't the one getting your face slapped in. I'm telling you, those women don't know the meaning of the word control. That was assault. They worked you over good. But it seems like they interrogated your partner too. The girl was crying so hard she could barely keep up with the questioning. Now we have all her information. We got her name, address, cell number, oh, and where she works, of course. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Looks like she's your co-worker, huh? We work at the same company, yeah. 
one more thing in common. Seems like she's all so married. What was the plan, Glenn? Were the two of you planning on ditching your families? Running away together? Starting anew in a far-off place? No way, it wasn't anything like that. Well, I mean, at least she probably wasn't thinking of it that way. It was just, you know, two people having some fun. Everyone does it. Well, she was even so kind as to provide her house number two. I just called and had an interesting conversation with her husband. Whose husband? Hers, you moron. Keep up. You called her husband just now? Yep, told him the whole thing. Every last juicy detail. I must say, he sounded extremely pissed. Not that anyone could blame him. Seems like he's going to sue you too. So you might want to get ready for that. Sue me? Why are you laughing? This is no joke. This is going to cost tens of thousands of dollars. I just bought a car. I don't have any money. No, this can't be happening. I don't know. It's pretty darn funny to me. You have to try looking at things from my perspective to see the humor. For one, it's not like I'm paying for anything. That's on you. Oh, and I'm divorcing you, so nothing's gonna happen to me. By the way, I will also be suing the both of you, just giving you a heads up. Wait, there's no way I can handle two lawsuits. You have to cut me some slack. Seriously, we can come to some kind of terms, right? What's the big deal? I'm sure you'll be just fine. Now that you two lovebirds are free to support one another, you two should just get married. Then you both work to pay it off together. I told you, it's not like that. She has no intention of marrying me. Well, I guess you're on your own then. You reap what you sow. And I do mean you're on your own. Don't expect any help from your family. Your sister has made sure that your parents aren't going to be saving you. What? That's going too far. Do those women want to see their little brother out on the street? Are you saying that my parents are really going to abandon me over this? They said something along the lines of, We'll make sure the very thought of doing anything like this ever again will not even enter his pea brain. They may be family, but it looks like they have no problem taking out the trash. Gotta say, I like their style. You've got to be kidding me. Monster isn't even the word. They're demons. They even turn mom and dad against me. Fine, I get it. I'll pay the money for the cheating, I swear. But please don't escalate this anymore. If the company finds out about this, I really will be out on the streets. At least leave me my job. I'm sure things at the office will get pretty awkward if everyone knew what treating trash you were with a co-worker, no less. The woman in the office would treat you like the cockroach you are. Please, anything but that. Everyone at the office knows me as a serious, hard-working guy. It's how I got the higher-ups to like me. I can't let that image get destroyed. Do you not have a decent bone in your entire body? Is lying really that ingrained into every fiber of your being? God, I would love to show them the real you. Knock it off. Putting on a persona is part of being an adult. We all do it. If the guys at work find out, I'd never be able to show my face again. Because I'm already dying from shame after that public execution you got my sisters to do. Honestly, dying of shame would be too good a death for you. You should spend the rest of your days wallowing in humiliation. God, if I had just taken Nina to the stupid park like I was supposed to, why couldn't I just have ignored that damn woman? At the very least, why didn't I go to a proper hotel? That stupid castle. If I had just gone to a normal place, I may have been able to come up with an excuse. I feel like I should point out how you're completely missing the point of everything. But I'm not surprised at this point. Oh, but you have to hear this. Nina just asked me, is daddy a prince? <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. A prince? What the hell is she talking about? You went into a castle-themed motel, genius. Nina tried connecting the dots. She said, Did Daddy go to meet the princess? <laughs>
I've never heard of a prince getting beaten bloody in front of the castle by a group of women, though. After that, Glenn was forced to pay a king's ransom to me and his lover's husband in reparations. As for her, it seems like the husband didn't divorce her, but shortly after, she ended up quitting the company. Somehow her co-workers found out about the vile scandal, and her only escape was leaving the company. As you can imagine, it wasn't long after that that the rumors spread throughout the rest of the company. From what I hear, Glenn stayed in the company, but as he feared, his whole existence there is the pinnacle of awkwardness. As for me, I'm living quietly with my daughter, Nina. It's just the two of us. I got a nice payout from Glenn and his lover for the infidelity. And he's of course playing child support. Thanks to the diligence of his loving sisters, there were no issues with the payments. I'm putting the money away for my daughter's schooling. She still hasn't grasped the true nature of the castle her daddy went to. However, one day when she gets older, she'll learn about those kinds of places and it will dawn on her what her father was doing. When that day comes, there will be one more woman on the planet who knows what a piece of garbage he is.